of church and stuff. Brandon, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, and we're going to have Garland Favorito with us today with breaking news. He had a press conference today, and right when he was about to drop the big information, boom, they went down. But we broke oh. it here at 1 o'clock on Lindell TV and the 60 stations that picked me up, and he's going to cover it for us tonight. And then next... Okay, what, what, when you... See, when you say it went down, what went down there? Uh, their live stream? Yeah, their live stream went down. They were out streaming on Rumble, and, and all of I'll a sudden, you, uh, you know, you know, they they they're trying to stop this everywhere. You know, every every time something comes out, it's like, what can they do to suppress it? Yep. it's very interesting, everybody. That uh, I'm I'm hearing from all over the country right now. Friend, my phone's filled up with, Mike, you've been vindicated. You've been vindicated. It's like. The whole topic of the country is machines, machines, and machines. Yep. Unless you're watching what? Fox, Fox. News. Yeah. Yep. Right. Fox and Newsmax, everybody. You're not going to hear about machines or Salem Media right now. But, you know, they're going to come around. I believe that, don't you, Brandon? I mean, how do you deny it when you've got uh, – we're going to hear tonight, everybody, Brad Rassenberger, who I've, who I've said um, the, the most, uh, in my opinion, the most corrupt uh, – Secretary of State in the country, even more than the Democrats, because uh, what he has done to the state of Georgia, to the American people, and to our country is just, it's just disgusting. And and to see him polling at 38 or 39 percent, and then he gets 52 percent three days later. We're gonna, I think we're going to find out tonight that's virtually impossible, um, or it is impossible. Um, the um, otherwise, you know. Brandon, and then the one I love the most, Brandon, that we're going to see is is uh, the Democrat that got zero votes, and her husband and her voted for them. You know, you, hey, hey, you just see that? If she'd have got one vote, she'd have said to her husband, hey, didn't you vote for me? You know, <laughs> but, uh, but zero votes. Yeah, I mean, you know something's wrong when you get zero votes, and then and then they find 3,000, and you go from third, third place to first place. And I want everybody to know. You guys, this isn't paper ballots we're talking about. This is machine manipulation by Brad Rassenberger down in Georgia. Okay? Um, and uh, I've been talking about Brad Rassenberger. He's got to be my number one that I've talked about over the last year and a half. Don't you think, Brandon? He, yeah, absolutely. It didn't. It took me a long time to learn how to pronounce his name, but I got it down now. Um, and, uh, you know, and it, it's one thing, too, when you keep coming up, I mean, he even passed up Alan Duke because Alan Duke, for a while there, we thought he was going to be, maybe he would uh, vindicate himself and actually come clean and tell the American people how ashamed he is and sorry he is for covering up all those articles back then about machine fraud and machine crime in our country getting attacked by China in this election. And, uh, and Alan Duke just kept covering up. And everybody, I gave him information in January. We signed a non-disclosure. And he said he would report it if it was all, um, um, the, if it showed the manipulation and the algorithms in it did, and he did not report it. He's went completely silent on us, everybody. One of these days, I think we should put up his phone number again out here. Um, it's on his website, Lead Stories. Is it leadstories.com, Brandon? I'll double check. I'll double check. Yeah, I'll double check that. I think uh, the people should be reaching out to Alan Duke and say, why are you, why are you not reporting this to the American people now that it's coming out everywhere. It is. It's leadstories.com. Leadstories.com. Alan Duke's number right on there. Remember, they're the Facebook fact checkers. They're the ones that covered up absolute proof back in the day and put contains nudity and porn. He says he didn't do that. He sure looks guilty now, doesn't he, Brandon? <laughs> yes. And by the way, um, we're going to continue the coverage on this topic uh, after the Worldview Report tonight, I'll be joined by Attorney Kurt Olson, and then I will be joined by uh, Colonel Sh uh, Sean Smith. And today I have spent the afternoon reading the declaration of Colonel Sean Smith, and there's quite a few interesting things in this declaration. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's not confuse these two things, so everybody. One of them is all the corruption that just came out of the Georgia primaries. The other one Brandon is talking about is the preliminary injunctions that are being going on in every single state. We're good, but we started with Arizona, Gary Lake, Mark Fincham, and today, or yesterday, Brandon, uh, what did they turn in that you're going to be talking about tonight? These are the actual 
uh, injunctions to get rid of the machines, right? Mm -hmm. the actual, all the evidence and everything in the state of Arizona. Is that correct? That's right. This is the case. Carrie Lake is the plaintiff versus Katie Hobbs, who's the Arizona Secretary of State. She's the defendant. And this this one right here is just the declaration of Sean Colonel Sean Smith who has an incredible background in the military and his training and his degrees to be able to speak to this issue. And what he uncovers in this uh, declaration, which I spent the afternoon reading and marking up, um, is something out of a Tom Clancy movie as far as what China and the Communist Chinese and other countries have been doing to penetrate our government all the way to the White House. Decades of this been going on, penetrate our intelligence arena, and then, of course, making so much of what we get when it comes to computers. The, his, just, just a little teaser. The People's Republic of China, in particular, is estimated to manufacture about 70% of U.S. mobile phones and 90% of the world's personal computers. And the People's Republic of China is the primary source for U.S. computer imports. And then they get into the components of these machines, which are a real problem, but it looks very interesting as to the penetration of people connected to China, other countries, penetrating our intelligence arena. This has gone unseen for decades. And then the government has to admit that their own intelligence arenas were penetrated for decades by enemy states. And then, of course, you have to ask, has any of this gone on with this election, the machines, the manufacturing of the parts overseas? It's it's this one declaration alone is is two or three TV shows, and there's lots of declarations. Yeah, yeah, that and, that's, uh, and there's many, many, many declarations in this injunction that uh, was filed yesterday in the state of Arizona. This should this should be making headline news across the world. And um, you know, part of the thing of putting these preliminary injunctions in was to show all the evidence within that state. But there's so much commonality of all the states because uh, it's, remember, computers go horizontal through, uh, through it all. And I've said it before, 92% of this cyber attack, we have traced all the way back to China. It might bounce here and then come here, but they, uh, the Internet tracking and the uh, uh, where the PCAPs and everything was tracked to is China. Um, the, um, so you know, this is, uh, is going to be huge. We, right now... Um, I'm sure the media on that piece is probably gone completely silent. I mean, that's what they usually do when you're, when you're, when they don't want the world to know about. It, they don't even attack, Brandon. Um, Cheryl, if you're watching right now, you could break that press and you could do a, you know, that would be real great. Either do a thing about Georgia, which is already out there, or, or you could get on board and do the, uh, you know, be the first one to say, hey, look at these. Uh, Look at the, the evidence in these injunctions. It's granted, it's over. Anyone that lives in Arizona, just this being the first state, should say, including all politicians, any person alive in Arizona should be going, ah, the machines have to go now. Period. Yep. yep. And this, guys, this isn't just about Arizona. Arizona is just the first. If you're down in Arizona, and you're that judge that this is before now, you've got to sit there and you've got to get, you know, don't be a blocker because this is to save our country. Um, old Attorney General Bonovich, is that who's, uh, uh, am I saying his name right down there? Yep. Mm -hmm. In yeah, Arizona. He, uh, he needs to uh, either embrace this and say, you know what, in light of, uh, in light of the evidence, Arizona, we need to go machine free and right now. By the way, everybody, in the preliminary injunction, if you go to Frank's speech, I want to I want to go there right now, Brandon, before we bring in Garland. Go to Frank's speech to the website if you can. I want to show everybody. By the way, everybody, everybody on Facebook here that's watching, get the Frank speech app now. Go to the app store, get the app. Um, I would.